Welcome to our video series on mind mapping. In this video, we'll explore the formatting options for your FreeMind mind map. Okay, let's start applying some formatting to this mind map. The toolbars can make many of the functions of FreeMind very easy to use and very easy to access. And if you want to tuck them away, or don't want them to appear here for any reason, you can just go View Menu, Toggle Toolbar, and that turns the top one on or off, as you can see. And there's also Toggle Left Toolbar, which does the same for this toolbar over on the left. Okay, first of all, click on the node you want to make changes to. So let's click on the marketing one. And we have a number of icons to choose from. For example, the arrow. So click on it, and it appears there. And again, you can have multiple icons, as you can see. That's just one node. And you can add icons to any node you wish. Then, if you want to get rid of them, just make sure you have the focus on the node. So click on it effectively. And then you have this little cross here, remove last icon. And click. And you can keep clicking and remove as many icons as you wish. So we're back to no icons at all. And now if I click on the root node, there are all these different Excuse me, I didn't get the root node. There we go. And there are all these different icons you can choose from. And we can also apply and move icons through the Insert menu. Icons, OK. And then you can select icon that way if you wish. For example, we can add a pencil. And there it is. Then insert icons, remove last icon, or remove all icons, and they're all gone now from the root node. Insert icons, and we have... Okay, it's difficult to see if there are more because it goes off the bottom of the screen. But if that's the case, you can just go to Select Icons, and it just displays them all in this window. And then you can just click the X to get rid of it. OK, there are further formatting changes you can make. You can just select single nodes by clicking on them if you want. Then Format, Physical Style, and you then have a number of ready-made options. For example, OK, it looks like that. It just really seems to change the color of the font. Format, Physical Style, Topic, Format, Physical Style, Question. OK, it's not easy to discern the differences, as you can see. If you want to make changes to multiple nodes, you can hold down Shift or Control. For example, if I hold down Control, I can make multiple node selections. If I click again, it turns one of those selections off. So I can do that. Then if I want to apply Format, Physical Style, I can apply Hot Style to all of those. And click away. And OK, I've deselected all of them now. And that's how it looks. Or I can do Edit, Select All Visible, Format, Physical Style, Hot, and they're all like that now. So let's click away. And there we go. OK, here I've applied a bubble to one of the nodes. And again, you can select one or multiple nodes just by clicking and holding down Control. Let's select all these and Format Bubble. And it puts a rounded border around all the nodes you selected. 
A similar concept to a bubble, but it looks quite different, is if I were to click this node and insert cloud, and that's how that looks. If I were to do it again, insert cloud. Alternatively, the keyboard combination is Control, Shift, and B together. And if you insert cloud again, and actually in that case it turns it off. So by selecting certain nodes and choosing Insert Cloud, and then again, you can turn the formatting on and off. And here you see, if I click this node here, and Insert Cloud, you see that it adds a cloud around the node you selected and all the sub-nodes. And again, to turn it off, Insert Cloud, and it's gone. You can also add more detailed notes to specific nodes if you wish. For example, this is the marketing one. Insert Note, and it has a section of the screen here where you can add more details. Here are my notes for the marketing node. And you get this little notepad icon appearing. If I select on it, if I hover the mouse over any of the other nodes, the note part of the screen doesn't appear. If I select any other nodes, the note part of the screen doesn't appear. But if I put the mouse back over that node, there's the note part of the screen, which I can make more changes to if I wish, or remove. Okay, I've deleted the text, and make sure the node is selected, Insert note, and the note is removed, you see, and the icon disappears. Plus, you can make font changes, such as, for example, if I select the root node here and format larger font, and we can keep selecting it to make it larger and larger if we want to, format larger font, and it keeps getting bigger. We can make it bold if we wish. Then node color. So let's select the node color. Okay, let's choose green. Okay, so that changes the text. Let's go back to format, node color, back to choosing the color, and let's choose a color that's going to stand out more. So let's say dark blue, and it gives you samples here. OK that, and OK that looks better. Then with any node that's selected, you can choose Format, Blend the Color, and you should notice a color change now. OK, quite dramatic. It blends the text color in with the background of the node. And you can do it again, and it goes to light gray. Do it again and it's pretty close to white. You see what happens when you do that. Alternatively, go back to Format. Choose Node Color, and let's go back to Dark Blue. OK. Also, Format Node Background Color. We can change the background color of the node, and let's say very light green, and let's see how that looks. OK, it's not immediately apparent because we need to move the focus away from that node to see the change. And there we go. Okay, what I've just done is apply Format, Automatic Layout, and it automatically formats the mind map to help it look better. And you can see how it looks. It's made quite a few changes to the color scheme. So that can shortcut the entire process if you're comfortable having less control over how it looks. Further options, you can choose a blinking node if you wish. So you can see that the text blinks at you in different colors, if you want to have that. Or you can turn it off. Format, blinking node, and OK, I actually made this one blink. 
It's a bit tricky sometimes which one is selected, so let's deselect that and select that. And OK, I've turned that one off. Now let's turn this one off, Format, Blinking Node, and I would say use that feature sparingly because it's quite difficult to turn off once you have it running. Because the software seems to find it difficult to allow you to turn the blinking node on and off whenever you want for certain nodes. What I just did is I went back to Format, Automatic Layout, and it fixed the problem for me. You can see that you can also change the edge color of nodes if you wish. It's pretty self-explanatory. For example, though, if I edit, select all visible, format, select edge color, and let's say red. OK that. So every edge here, basically the dividing line between the nodes, is now red. And also the border as well. Further options, Format, Edge Styles, Linear, and you can see that the change takes immediate effect here with linear edges. Then, that's the Bezier style. Sharp Linear, that's how that looks. Interesting effect. Then, Format and Edge Styles and Sharp Bezier. And that's how that looks. So you can play around with those and see which one you prefer. But these are just formatting changes, which don't really affect the content of the mind map itself, apart from such features as the Note feature. And also Edge Width. You can change that. So, OK, that's two, and you can make it wider or thicker if you wish. And now I've chosen Format, and Reset Position, and it just tidies up the look, the layout of your mind map as well, as you can see. If you want to have a tighter look in that respect. And of course you can just click, hold, and drag to stretch things out again, and format it as you wish. Then back to the Format menu. And if we turn off Automatic Layout, it turns off the Automatic Layout feature. And actually, it's worth mentioning, as a workaround for fixing the Blinking Node feature, and the fact that it can be quite tricky to work with the Blinking Node feature, what I did to turn off all the Blinking Nodes was Edit, Select All Visible, Format, you can choose Blinking Node, and they all start blinking like that. Then again, Edit, Select All Visible, Format, Blinking Node, and it stops them all from blinking. Okay, now we have all the nodes in this color. So if you go Format, Automatic Layout, it fixes that if we want to go with that look. So that's how you can use the formatting features of FreeMind to greatly affect the look of your mind map.